الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما It's um, a topic on uh, world today is not on powerpoint so I've collected a lot of ayahs and hadith on uh, barakah uh, if you check now number one see what this showed it's showing 9.30 okay Considering 8.30 Where is it running? Yeah, Facebook is running but uh, um, Bismillah ar rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbi Amin Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Baraka what baraka means to you? Blessing. What me? What means? What? What's uh, when you are blessed? What happened to you? A small thing can last you for long. Small things can't last for long. Yeah. Multiply. Multiply. Yes. Mm. How about blessed, blessed children? What will happen to them? Will last for six hundred years. Protect them, yeah. Protect your children. Yeah. yeah. Make them obedient so less trouble making and less. Uh, yeah. What else, Baraka? Help. Yeah. Protected. Yes. Protected. Yeah. Insan Mubarak, you know, somebody Mubarak. Hasni Mubarak. Will be getting things really blessed by Allah, last long, the right thing he buys, you know, always a winner. Or, so he's Mubarak, he's blessed by Allah. Mubarak is the person blessed. Yeah, Mubarak. Oh, Dhikrun Mubarak. Wahada Dhikrun Mubarak. Quran is a blessed book from Allah, or blessed. Um, Dhikr has many meanings. One of it is the Quran. One of it is the reminder. Anzalnahu af antum lahum munkirun. So this is Dhikr Mubarak from Allah, the Quran. So if you want something really Mubarak, is Dhikr, uh, is the Quran. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatin Mubaraka. So which layla is Mubaraka? The night of the revelation. Laylatul Qadr. Inna anzalnahu fi laylati al Qadr. And in Nanz and Nahu fi Lelet and Mubaraka. So Lelatul Qadri Khairun min Al Fishah because it's blessed. So if the, whatever you do in Lelatul Qadr, it's actually multiplied to a thousand months. Khairun min Al Fishah. Wakul Rabbi and Zilni Manzilan Munzalan Mubarakan. Wanta Khairun Munzalin. So also there could be the house is blessed. The uh, the job, you know, the building, the office could be blessed. And so you want Allah to choose for you a, uh, a house or a home which is blessed by Allah. وَنَجْجَيْنَاهُ وَلُوطًا إِلَى الْأَرْضِ الَّتِي بَارَكْنَا فِيهَا So which earth Allah blessed? Palestine. Palestine. نَجْجَيْنَاهُ وَلُوطًا So Lut and who? وَنَجْجَيْنَاهُ وَلُوطًا Who is the one? With Lot, Najjainahu, we saved him and Lot. So Allah saved who? Who came to Palestine with Lot? Ibrahim. Ibrahim. And Lot, his nephew. So, and that's what um, the Jews say that, you know, the other Mubarakah is being given to Ibrahim. What about, what about Lot? <laughs> so Lot went with him, he's his nephew. Barakna fi haril alameen. Not Lehud. So that's the difference. The Islam is actually the, the, the religion which you don't see or witness any racism. So when you see racism, it's not from Islam. And the Prophet said, Da'uha fa innaha muntina. Leave racism because it stink. It's really stink. It's really awful. So if it is. Uh, 
from um, Allah Azza wa Jal to Ibrahim and Lut. Allah blessed it. Barakna uh, and should be to all alam. Anybody can go there, anybody can live there, obviously, legally. Not by killing people there, destroying them, taking their land, and establish uh, settlements on it. So this is what has been happening for the last. How old the king? King Charles the third? Seventy-four. He was born 1948, the year 74. when Israel was established and they kicked the Palestinians out. So the Palestinians' land has been taken since King Charles now, the third, was born. And they have been thrown all over the places. Does it comply with the meaning that it is a land of blessing, but there is a lot of bloodshed there? It's like uh, Allah talking about the Bayt al-Haram. Woman dakhalahu kana Whoever entered uh, the Holy Mosque in Mecca uh, should be uh, in peace. He should be um, uh, happy and afraid. No fear for him. Well, there's a lot of fires, a lot of um, even criminals. I saw one stole or tried to steal from the bag of a, somebody moving around Kaaba. We went in Tawaf. And I said to him, I'm, I'm watching you. And he just <laughs> gone. And he said something to me. And so, and there were a lot of fights in Mecca. And they were fight at the time of Yazid, Karamita, uh, Jahami, this, uh, uh, guy in 1980, um, which is expected to be, expected to be providing peace and tranquility to people who enter it. Anything not peace and tranquility is not accepted by Allah Azzawajal, and whoever does it is in breach of the uh, law of Allah Azzawajal. So and the same for Palestine. It's Mubarakah if you live in peace and you will find that there's a lot of uh, um, plenty of things. People used to go from Syria to work in Palestine because there's a lot of money there in the beginning of the 19th century. Have you heard that, Dr. Said? There were my, my parents used to tell me people if they want to make money, like people go now to Saudi to get money. Um, the Egyptians were so rich, they were themselves giving financial support to the Saudis and they are giving the uh, clothes for the Kaaba until the oil discovered. But well, there were so much, you know, uh, at that time. So Palestine was full of blessing and there's a lot of things there. Obviously, if you don't obey Allah and protect it and, and forbid the evil and join the good, then the bad people will take over. So, yes, it is a blessed place, but people made it um, unblessed. And Yazid, when he was trying to kill Abdullah bin Zubayr in uh, in Mecca, he threw Mecca with the uh, manjaniq, which is big stones, you know, to do, and they destroyed Kaaba. So this is obviously, it's the people who confirm. In the first bayt, the word of the people is the one who is Mubarak. So this is Mecca, the house of Allah Azzawajal, is blessed by Allah Azzawajal. and from the time it was built the first house was built for mankind was the one in Mecca which is blessed and guidance to mankind to all mankind in fact when you go to the Quran in uh, um, if you go to the Quran and get uh, this uh, on Zikr um, and then we'll search it. Um, Alan, uh, see. We lay her and say, Hijju al Baiti. Hijju al Baiti, the Minister Tai, Lay Sabila. ولله على الناس حج البيت 
لمن استطاع اليه سبيلا والله على الناس الناس all mankind have to go to حج نعم مروان so um, the ayah you mentioned about uh, Bakka Bakka means Bakka. The, the crowded place but uh, just one interesting fact so Bakka is mentioned in the Bible so it's in, in the Psalms yeah so they pass through the rally of Bakka they make it a source of spring water um, so it's one of the things that's mentioned in the Bible yeah the fact no, there's that Bakka and there's water in it yeah it's mentioned in yeah it. So, um, yeah, so Mecca, Al-Hajj, obliged on all mankind. So when Allah sent this ayah, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, invited all the Christian and Jew and all people to come and do Hajj. But what happened? They refused. And they carry on refusing. And it became to them, they banned from coming to Mecca when? Not Omar. No, the Prophet uh, wished for it, but it actually happened at the time of Omar. No, no, it was the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he sent Ali ibn Abi Talib to announce it. In this ayah. No, but they were still living in it. The, the Jew killed Omar so they were still living in uh, No, that was after the conquering Mecca and the Hajj. Um, the Prophet sent um, Ali ibn Abi Talib with this ayah that يَا يَلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِنَّمَا الْمُشْرِكُونَ نَجَسْ فَلَا يَقْرَبُوا الْمَسْجِدَ الْحَرَامَ بَعْدَ عَامِهِمْ هَذَا So they, were, they had a window to go to Mecca from that ayah when it was revealed وَإِنَّاسِ عَلَىٰ وَإِلَّهِ عَلَىٰ النَّاسِ حِجُّ الْبَيْتِ until this ayah revealed when this ayah revealed banned from that time so Abu Bakr was the head of the uh, delegation for Hajj. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu sent Ali ibn Abi Talib to announce that no naked person should make tawaf and no mushrik should make tawaf according to the ayah. And Abu Bakr was very worried. Why is that? Abu Bakr was very worried because he thought he is no longer recognized as the second in command after the Prophet Now he's asking Ali. So why the Prophet sent Ali ibn Abi Talib? It was a custom to send somebody from the family. Yeah, it was a custom. All the Arab know the one who is really representing the leader is member of his family. So the one who could represent Prophet Muhammad was Ali. Nothing to do with being second in command or third. He wanted the Arab to obey, listen and obey. So he sent Ali ibn Abi Talib for this one item to ban moving around Kaaba naked and to ban Mushrik from going to Hajj. And there is, uh, when you go to Mecca, and the Mecca and the surrounding area, Haram, and there is a sign, non Muslim that way and Muslim this way. So there's signs. Um, um, I don't think people um, challenge it because uh, what they're going to do with Mecca in, in Mecca, unless they are really spy and things, and that could go to any to any palace anyway. Um, so um, Mecca is a blessed place. Water coming from heaven is a blessed place. When so then now, when did um, Mecca become Mecca? Mecca, Mecca means um, also in English. It's like a Mecca for center. people, a center, a holy big center, a center where everybody mm. would like to go there. And Bakka is a crowded place. So that's another name for Mecca, Bakka, which is very crowded. And from the time of the Prophet Subhanallah until now it's crowded. Although they enlarged it, enlarged it, enlarged it, it's still crowded. Corona came, psh, crushed it, and then started enlarging again. And Nazanna min as ma'an mubarakat. A man came to Ali ibn Abi Talib and he had, um, his son was ill and he said uh, to him, I'll give you an advice, go and get um, fresh water, rain, because the rain, the fresh rain is blessed, Mubarak, Allah said, and mix it with honey, because Allah said, Fihi shifa'un nas, and buy the honey, buy whatever left from your wife's mahr. Because the Prophet Sallallahu said, um, uh, 
ما حسين معنى الحديث meaning of the hadith that the purest of the money is the money you give you wife to agree to marry you as a mother not the purest so it became habit of many Muslim women that uh, they convert straight away the mahar into gold or into brass or into uh, wool but they last for a long time and you ask many Muslims at time when the wife take all the gold and sell it to buy a house or treat the husband or you know they so Ali ibn Abi said uh, pure um, the water is blessed the honey shifa is in the Quran and the mahar also the purest of the money and وَجَعَلَنِي مُبَارَكًا أَيْنَمَا كُنْتُ the person is blessed who is that who was made mubarak wherever he goes وَجَعَلَنِي مُبَارَكًا أَيْنَمَا كُنْتُ Isa alayhi salatu salam and awsani bi salati wa zakah I'm preparing a topic on all the prophets were, were asked to pay zakah so zakah wasn't only for Muslims and salah so salah and zakah and he was blessed wherever he went and subhanallah nobody was able to kill him although they, they tried to kill him when he was adult but uh, um, his mom uh, married um, uh, uh, Yusuf or Joseph because she wanted to protect her son this is what Bernaba Bible said that she was worried that they might kill her, 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 the, her son that Saba there were villages which is blessed there's villages blessed and there's villages hard to live in difficult and they chose to go through the difficult villages, make a uh, trip difficult. And also, for the Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. So it is Bukha Mubaraka. And Masjid al Haram al Ladi Barakna Hawla. So all the Jerusalem mosque and the land around it is blessed. Mubaraka. And Shajarat al Zaytun Mubaraka. Shajaratun Mubarakatun Zaytuna and Zaytun subhanallah I mean they were worried before that might have fat and fat because how does you water but then they discovered no Zaytun Zayt the olive oil doesn't so it's Mubarak from Allah Um when you go to your house now things you can do to get the blessing when you say Assalamu Alaikum when you go to your house it's a greeting from Allah blessed from Allah Tahiyya Min Allah Mubarak Atayyiba. So always never enter your house without saying Assalamu Alaikum. Whether there's somebody in the house or not. The minute you open the door, Assalamu Alaikum, in loud voice so people could hear you. And that's blessed. Allah bless the house. The Saharu fa inna fis Sahuri Baraka. Taking Sahur means that you will get Baraka. Um Al Baraka fi nawasi al khayl. If you have Horses and things, there's baraka in the uh, horses. Um, baraka to ta'am also, if you make wudu before it and after it, there will be baraka in the ta'am. There will be. SubhanAllah, I mean, that many Muslims tell that uh, when they sit and say Bismillah and they eat um, a lot left, um, you know, they eat half the dish and they're all full. Um, um, I don't know about <laughs> you, but uh, a lot of us, when we go to a restaurant, we take back home nearly half the, uh, what we ordered. Because, say Bismillah, Allah Azza will make it blessed. Um, and uh, Medina, twice as much blessed as Mecca. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam So if you go to Medina, it's twice as much baraka. Al-Half manfa'atun. مَنْفَقَةٌ لِلسِّلْعَامُ وَمَحْقَةٌ لِلْبَرَكَةٌ Don't um, make any oath or swear when you are selling. By Allah, it cost me this. By Allah, no, no. Because it will, might, you might make you, make you sell, but it will remove the barakah. The money you get, there's no barakah in it. SubhanAllah, I mean, I worked in Saudi. <laughs> Probably you have noticed, I love Saudi. Uh, I worked for four and a half years. I... Um, Send money to Syria to build my flat and my brother's flat, and they have saved enough money to come to Britain to study. And uh, uh, when I came to Britain, I took the job and um, I thought I'll buy some shares and commodity with the money from Saudi. I lost them. 
in the community market. <laughs> and then the missile came from Bashar al-Assad, destroyed my flat in Syria. <laughs> so the, all the money came with me from Saudi Arabia, no pressing in it. None of it lasted. None, not, not a single penny. They were gone. Um, so, um, in Adama, and Nikah, Barakatan, I saw Monatan. The, 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 the marriage which is blessed most is the one which costs less. You don't have to spend a uh, fortune to marry your wife or marry your son and daughter and things. And I know many of subhanAllah, our brothers and you know our youngsters, they spend 30, 40,000, 50,000 on the marriage and then they spend years paying back the loans and some of them end in six months. We attended quite a few marriages and ended divorce six months. The whole 30 became like worse than the student loans. Um, and if you see anything from your brother or yourself or your uh, relative or whoever, or you see something you like, whether it's uh, money or children or building, um, uh, ask Allah to bless it for them. And that's what will protect that from the uh, evil eye. So you say, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, this is what Allah wanted. Always say, Tabarakallah, Mabrook, Tabarakallah, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, will bring Barakah. Al Barakah tenzil wasat al ta'am, Barakah. So try not to eat from the middle of the uh, plate, eat from the side of the plate. Um, and uh, that's the hadith, so don't eat from the middle of the plate. And so Hayyib said that uh, Prophet Sallallahu said three things there's barakah in them. Um Al Bay' ila Ajal, if you sell and take um, installments, and Muqarada if you give loans to people, and um, mixing grain and barley in your house, not to sell it. Um so there's barakah in that. SubhanAllah if Muqarada was there and bay ila ajal without interest. Um, they wouldn't be the um, um, disaster coming now with the economy, extreme uh, inflation and things. Um, and this, uh, Al Prophet Sallallahu said, Kulu jami'an, eat together in the house and don't eat individually because the barakah is jama'ah. So if you eat, in the house, all of you together, there will be more barakah in eating together. And when you break your fast, break it on dates because it's barakah. It's barakah. If you don't have dates, water because it's, it, it purify you. Um, so on barakah, do these things. Um, Abi, and Abi Ayyub and Ansari, we were with the Prophet وسلم, and we were introduced food and um, I found that, you know, we were eating and nothing disappearing from the food. The food remained as it is. Until um, the end of the uh, time, when the food just disappeared. And the Prophet ﷺ said, when we mentioned the name of Allah at the beginning, Allah Azawajal blessed the food. And then a man came at, towards the end and he didn't say Bismillah and he started eating and the food gone. Uh, and the shaitan started eating with him and the food gone, disappeared. So try to remind people sitting to say Bismillah, say Bismillah. Um, I don't know, I mean, whether it exists or not, they showed us in the uh, Christian, um, the classical Christian family, they sit and make a uh, prayer before they eat. Uh, whether they still do it or not, I don't know. But we say when you are all of Bismillah, say Bismillah. Even also, especially the host, we say, Allah, say Bismillah, Khulu Bismillah, Hudu, as thought. So they all say Bismillah. They remind people, because we will forget sometimes. Especially children, you train them. Um, and Bayan, Bil Khiyar, when you sell and buy. Um, and the Prophet said, if they are truthful and they showed the defect of these things they are selling, Allah will bless their sale. If they don't, and they hide, the barakah will go. So try to, and it's not easy to show that, you know, you're buying this and there is this and this and this in it. But it's really very comforting. I don't know when you sold or not. You show to people, it has this problem. You know. 
نعم. Yeah, بسم الله. Yeah, same uh, habit of the of the Muslims. Alhamdulillah. And if a um, a piece of food drop from you, the Prophet said, take it, remove the harm from it, and eat it. Don't leave it to Shaitan. And um, and he said, you don't know which part of your dish contain the baraka. So which part of the dish contain the baraka? Could be that last piece. Obviously, if it is um, liquid or semi-liquid, it's unlikely to remove the harm from it. If it is hard piece of food, you could wash it and eat it. Um, and I came from, like you know, being living in the countryside in Damascus, and uh, the um, villagers here they just drop it against their clothes and they eat it. Um, and the Abu Nayyaz of the Khatta ala ahlika fasallim yakum barakatan alayka wa la ahlik. The Prophet said to Anas ibn Malik that. When you enter to your family's home, say Assalamu Alaikum, and that will be a blessing to you and to your family. So that's really must, you know, when you, although it is a sunnah, but if you don't reply, it's a fard. Replying is a fard, and people have to reply even better than what have been greeted. Assalamu Alaikum, say Assalamu Alaikum, Assalamu wa Rahmatullah. If somebody says Assalamu Alaikum, you cannot say Wa Alaikum. You have to be Wa Alaikum, Assalam, minimum. Rahmatullah as an extra. Have some sheep, the Prophet said, to umhan it, have some sheep because there is blessing in it. Um, again, baraka uh, drop in the middle of the dish and spread. Um, so try not to eat from the middle. Um, if you are uh, have you know the, the tharid, you know type of sweet I think, but when they boil it, the Prophet it said wait till it's settled, and uh, uh, better for baraka. He said You've said over there uh, well, bar so is that like two baraka or yeah, or barakat, barakat. What's the significance of two baraka? Twice as much, oh. yeah. Um, uh, khayri, double it. You know, it's like um, the Arab, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, uh, when he was brought milk, he used to say baraka or barakatan. Aisha said, "Oh, the So baraka, obviously, many of you experience baraka. I mean, one of the <laughs> Baraka sometime. Um, we bought a fridge when we were in Wales um, in 1990. Uh, we had to give it away two years ago to somebody. It's still working. SubhanAllah. The only thing went wrong that there's a dish on top of the engine. Um, when the water drop on it, the motor is hot, evaporate the water. So it's uh, anti like a f uh, uh, frost free, and that start leaking. So I looked into it, and I replaced the dish. Lived another ten years. So, uh, alhamdulillah, blessed. I don't know. Probably you know we were in good, uh, uh, were aware enough to make uh, du'a and things, and um, and uh, the car might last longer. The house lasts longer. The, you buy the right house, you get the right job. We ask Allah for baraka, and these few things which we mentioned, and baraka, and the baraka Allah, fikum al baraka, inshallah. So baraka come from Allah Azza wa Jal. What else come from Allah Azza wa Jal? Al rizq and al hikma. Yuti al hikma tamani sha wisdom that comes from Allah Azza wa Jal, and wisdom. Um, you could be 10 sitting and one will get a bright idea. Oh, that's really a wise idea. And Allah give it to selected people. When I came to know Hamza Yusuf, uh, uh, he used to say, he, One of his dua, that you know, give us hikmah. So give us the barakah, inshallah. Any question? Any 
uh, comment. Just uh, more things to share. Than I is coming back to saying this will not be for eating. I heard that uh, if you forget or if you talk even halfway at the end, you say Bismillah. You say Bismillah. You say Bismillah. Yeah, if you forget to say Bismillah at the beginning. Any time during eating or drinking, you say Bismillah awalihi wa akhirihi. That's from a hadith, yeah. The Prophet said. And what's the extra bit? The Bismillah and then what? At the beginning and the end. From the beginning to the end. Bismillah awalihi wa akhirihi. Okay. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad wa alayhi wa sallam.